there you go so do you want if you want to see all the shading and how the final result how it's gonna look press f12 right now I didn't change the light so we're gonna do that right now Press zero move this to move an object um press G and you can which is grab and you can move it around I'd like to put it right in the middle so let's see that's pretty good nope actually that's not really good at all there we go whoop whoopsie daisies whoopsie daisies there we go don't think that changed anything I'm oh, sorry my mouse is kinda <coughs> my mouse is kinda weird so let's just keep it like that um since it was kinda weird uh, let me just change this back to white and see oops the daisies 12 um f12 yeah that's pretty good it has this little light blue shading press zero again so now we have this blue poop you also want to change the background world so you go into this blue sphere now and turn on paper sky land sky and real sky and the ambient color is is, it, is the middle of the world I think I believe no that's the lighting I guess so this is the outside and we want to keep this down to black black there we go so now we have this kind of realistic color wait wait a second we have this realistic color of the sky I mean a uh, space of the space it's not really realistic but okay next you wanna go to the stars tab which is all the way on the bottom and check that box and since the stars are pretty big and weird, I like to lower them. And <coughs> I also like to change the distance, which is that, and the separation between the stars. Oops, it's way too much. That's way too little. And that's that's perfect. And you can change all the different colors. So there's random colors on the stars, which is pretty cool. It's not really realistic, but I like it. So if we check how we're doing so far, this is what it's gonna look like. Um. So next thing you want to do is figure out how are you going to do the animation so what you can do with the animation you can make it go from this way to this way and then like pause in the middle or you can make it go from on top to bottom or you can make it go randomly but I, for the sake of the episode I mean what am I saying for uh for time's sake we're gonna just make it from top to bottom so first thing you want to do is look at this there's gonna be a little timeline on the bottom and um these are all the frames these numbers so it goes up to 250 frames and you want to make that to a hundred and that'll be about eight seconds I think I'm not sure and to actually make the animation wanna 
press this little record button and it will record every movement so if you have it on this frame if you click the green line on this frame the tenth frame and you move the object up then by the time it's at that frame it'll be at that position so if you get it we'll move on okay um let's put it back to 20 and then move it a little up okay let's change this to 150 frames okay and then put it at 30 frames and then Oh, wait, okay. This is actually a bad idea. But, um, I actually made a mistake. But, if you put a bunch of these frames, then it'll be like going up and it stops, and then going up and it stops, going up and it stops. So then, you want to make. Okay, let me just cut this out. God dang it. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I actually made a mistake, so I had to pause it. So, um, let me just start over again. Um, so when we left off, you're, you decided how your animation is going to be, so we're gonna make it from top to bottom, right? So, what you wanna do is to record your frames wait one second okay right now the end frame on this little timeline you want to focus on this timeline is 250 so you want to make that 150 so that will be like 8 10 seconds I forgot so and to start your animating animating you click this little red button and that's it's like a record button so it records your object's position at each frame so in the beginning it should have a green line right here so this is where you can see all the positions right now it's the start so it's just here so if you want it up here by the time it's 75 frames you just go to 75 frames and then move it up so now we have two frames here so when we play it it'll go up and then since we don't have any frames here or so it just stays there so let me just pause it and we can make it go down here so that by the time it's at 110 frames it'll be at this position so when we play go like this go like this and then now it's in the middle so what I wanted to do is make it At 140, 130, let's make it 130. It goes here, and then 135, it goes all the way back. So that's going to be pretty fast because it's a large amount of movement, but not a lot of frames. So what we have right now, oops, I'm going backwards. Okay goes up, back down, to the right, and back to the left. So that's our animation. So um, if you want to render this animation and make it into a video file, what you want to do is go back to this, this tab, and this should be a little camera. And it says render. And it says 
render image and render animation. So don't click that yet. Don't click that. Warning. Do not click that. Because you want to change the output. So first, <coughs> what I like to do is just change it to the document. I mean, um, make the output at the desktop because that's where most of my things go. So, or you can type it here if you want. If something's not working, you can just type it in this little box. And um, it says PNG right here. So this is the format. And you don't want a PNG because if you do it in PNG in the desktop, there's gonna be a bunch of pictures of each frame. So that's not good. So you want to go and see these movie movie files. What I use is I believe it's AVI raw. Yeah, AVI raw. If I am incorrect, I will change that. Um so after you change the output and the format, um, you go to animation and click it. So then this is the render rendering process. So it's moving fairly slowly because um, I made it move slow in the beginning. So then there are low frames. I'm barely any movement in the frames. So I'll be back when it's done.